Here is our first time signature without a 4 on the bottom. Rhythms and a time signature with an 8 on the bottom are felt differently. Instead of two eighth notes occupying a single beat, a set of three eighth notes does. This means that we feel two beats per measure in a 6-8 time signature. Here is what this sample measure looks and sounds like. You'll notice two things about the way I strummed the rhythms. First, we will play all eighth notes as down strums instead of alternating down and up. The second is that we'll emphasize the first strum in each set of three eighth notes. This helps to make the two beats per measure feel more obvious. We will also count our rhythms differently. Each rhythm will be doubled in value. This means that the dotted half note is now worth six counts instead of three. The dotted quarter note is worth three beats instead of one and a half. The quarter note is worth two beats instead of one. And an eighth note is worth one beat instead of half. Here is what exercise one should look and sound like. Let's skip to exercise three so we can see and hear the quarter note rhythms. Page 37 features one of the most well-known 6-8 songs, House of the Rising Sun. We'll use the 6-8 strum to accompany the song. The melody features all of the different rhythms covered on the previous page. <laughs> 